All right, I'm here with Sam Myers, Ben Walker with Retro Tech. They got a couple of really cool products that are brand new, about to come out. You guys take it away, tell me what you got going on. We have the new Solo uh, single channel manometer, uh, high resolution, auto zeros. Um, this will be coming out in March. And uh, the nice thing about this is it's really just bare bones. There's no wireless connectivity, so it keeps the price a lot lower than other stuff out there, and it's a nice gateway for HVAC techs to get into home performance. That's right, um, and it's got the same sensor, same quality sensor as your other products, right? So yeah, so the you're not 32 x has the same sensor, the right. same uh, filtering on that sensor to keep everything super precise. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And the screen rotates as you rotate it. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's really handy. Yeah. And, uh, that's really the other cool new product. thing that we have coming out about the same time is the Model 7000 fan. So this has been in the works for quite a while. Um, this is a much lighter weight fan, has a DC motor in it Ooh. that can either run off a power supply uh, that you see here, or okay. it can run off a battery, which would be in this exact same housing. So you have an option of what power source you want to have. Oh yeah, I could definitely see like in new construction where maybe you don't have as many power options yeah, that, that, that the battery would be good. Is like 300 yards away yeah. and you don't have a cord that Right, reach. and yeah. other trades are using it and yeah, it'd be good to have its, its own power source. Really cool. So um, what's the CFMs that this runs more or less? So like what does it max out at? If we're testing to 50 Pascals, it's roughly what, 9,000 CFMs? Yeah, um, yeah 9,800 off the battery and then uh, like around uh, 8,000 off the uh, power supply here. Okay, so, so you actually get a lot more flow off the battery if you choose that. Oh, wow. So up to 9,000 CFMs, right? Yeah. Wow, that and for a lightweight package, so like you could do a really big house, yeah. a super leaky house, because nine thousand CFMs, like, yeah. Hopefully, there's, hopefully we're not dealing with any kind of houses that you and I would live in that's be nine thousand CFMs. If that doesn't do it, the problems should be pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah, right. They forgot to put in fourteen windows in the house yeah, yeah. or something like that, the right? Camera should be going. Yeah, blowing. yeah. Just get the spray foam out. We got fourteen windows to fill in. Yeah, cool. Um, and then, of course, we got some products that have been out for a while, right? Yeah, the DM32X came out last year. Yes. That's our blower door duct tester manometer. Yep. We try to keep them out of the out of the sun here. Yeah. We're getting yep. a little hot. Yep, yep. Uh, but the nice thing about that is we built that onto an Android platform, so we can constantly send updates over the air. Oh, so you nice. Don't have to plug anything up. Okay. Our cloud is built straight onto it, so you can always generate reports. Uh, geolocate where you are, give something to the building official, yep. um, email it straight to yourself, you know, once you get back and connect it to Wi-Fi, just like a cell phone. So right. Super handy, super accurate gauge. Yeah, I've used that, and it cuts the, the middleman app out, whereas the other gauges that you had before, you got to have the app yeah. on your device, but now all that's built Use into one device. Use your phone for other stuff. Right, that's exactly. Like calling people. Yeah. Texting. Yep. And you're not well. You're, the practical thing is you're not wearing your battery down on your phone during the whole test, where now you're ticked off because you got no battery life left, and it's yeah. 11 a.m. You have a device that is does exactly what your phone was doing. Or if you and, have one of those thermal cameras that plugs into your phone, you can yeah. use it for that. Right. So. so it's very practical to have something as versatile as that. Yeah, um, something else that's fairly new is the mini probe. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. These. We have a bundle of them that we brought that we're giving away yes. here at the event, but yep, one sixteenth of, of an inch, you can yeah. fit it anywhere to find leaks. Any do door. Zonal pressure, zonal pressure diagnostics. Right. You can even use it as a static pressure probe. Yep. You can back a screw out instead of having to drill a new hole yep. in to stick it in Oh, there it slips under crown molding. There's all kinds yeah. of stuff when you can... Yeah, I've got one of those, and it fits... It doesn't get crushed in a door frame. Right. Like I was trying to use like a one eighth copper tube, and you try to put it in a door frame, it's getting kinked. It's you you can't trust your reading. So exactly. that is yeah. If nothing else, get a couple of those, y'all. If you're doing any kind of uh, static pressure or uh, building pressure diagnosis, zonal pressure yep. diagnosis, yeah, dominant duct leakage. Exactly. Yep. All, so many tests start with you could do with that gauge and with that probe. Exactly. You can get started with diagnosis and build, building right. signs home performance very very inexpensive yeah yeah mm -hmm. awesome um and oh yeah talk to me about the smoke uh, yeah i know this isn't a new product but it's very very helpful product. yeah so it's just another one of those tools that we have to make air leaks visible yes uh, so if we're pressurizing a house with a blower door we can shut a bedroom door if we see smoke shooting up under that undercut we know we've got some leaks in that room. exactly so it's just really good to do in front of homeowners helps right. the light bulb go off oh yeah so. Yeah, it's um, it's super helpful there. Yeah, and of course, I love yeah. 
the the, flow finder. the flow finder. This is um, there was actually an update for this uh, okay. last year, so uh, it manages power a lot better, uh, gets to the target a lot faster, doesn't fluctuate as hard. Um, the display has changed a little bit, and there's also a Wi-Fi chip in here, so uh, you can do updates over the air. Awesome. Yeah. So just advanced tools, starting from things that are really easy to get started with. If you're interested in home performance all the way up to the really advanced tools so you can really be an expert in your field. Thanks guys yeah, as thanks always. All right.